Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your March 2009, 2019 general reading secret message. So welcome. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Help the channel out to get these messages out to those who really need to hear them and please give it a thumbs up I'd be greatly appreciated for that uh, comment if this resonates in any way share share social media share with your friends uh, hit the bell once you subscribe you'll be notified of when the rings are posted you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using my information is there for personal readings my email my Etsy page uh, you can follow me on Instagram um, and my PayPal link is below if you wish to tip or donate to the channel to keep these free read free readings going for you guys would be greatly appreciated and no amount is too small so thank you for that uh, we may pick up energies of past present or future so please keep that in mind and it may or may not resonate with every single person out there so if it doesn't resonate this time that's okay uh, it may resonate next time or you can check your other signs in your chart, specifically your moon sign and your rising sign. And if this doesn't resonate this time, then one of those signs may resonate with you more. So you can browse my playlist for other signs to watch. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. So if you're dealing with a Taurus and you want to know what's going on with them, welcome. And this may be a mess message for you. Uh, you Taurus can also go and watch other readings on other for other people that you're dealing with in your life if you know their sign um, I think that's about it uh, thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much all my clients thank you so much greatly appreciated thank you to my returning viewers thank you thank you thank you I love all you guys and I love doing this for you give you clarity, insight, whatever you need, uh, confirmation on. Spirit is here with me to give you these messages that you need. So thank you and thank you to Spirit. Okay, so with this deck, we're going to see what energy, planet, um, element, another fire sign you may be dealing with. And this can be anybody in your life since this is a general reading. So. It can be anybody, or you could just have the sign in your chart, or they could have it somewhere in their chart. Okay, spirit. So can we? Wow, that was fast. <laughs> fire. So maybe dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or <clears throat> Aries. And let me read a little bit about fire. Powerful, focused, intense, energy burns brightly and moves quickly. Passion, drive, desire to create strong and sometimes scary emotions like anger are fueled by fire. It destroys, purifies, create, creative process. Bring the quality of fire to a situation by taking action and doing what needs to be done. Being courageous by saying or doing the scary but essential thing that needs expression. Being focused and determined to see something through to the end while honoring and following your passion. Okay, so we'll see how that plays in for you, Taurus. Following your passion. Okay, so with this deck here, we will get your secret message. What you need to know for the month of March 2019. For Taurus. So spirit, can we have Taurus's secret message for March 2000? Wow. For March 2019, please. Just one card. It's too many. One card for Taurus. Not too many, I just want one. One card for Taurus for March 2019. 
for their secret message. What is going on with them that they need to know? Seeking and finding. So, I'm going to read just a little bit uh, from the book because there may be a message in here. This could have to do with starting something and completing it. Like a butterfly flying from flower to flower, you are searching for what's next. This card reassures you that you'll find what you're looking for. Hold the vision of success, experience the excitement of the process, and feel fulfillment as if everything has already been accomplished. Keep calling upon the guidance of God and the angels to lead you in the best direction. Look within yourself to find great love and beauty. Don't draw fear into your path by worrying about what will come. Put only love into any thoughts and feelings you have about your future. Trust that everything is all is rightly yours already, belongs to you spiritually. Anything you are seeking is seeking you also. Have faith and open your arms to receive. Additional meanings, finding a lost object, reunion with a long lost loved one, and that can be anybody, a friend, a family member, discovering your divine life purpose, meeting your soulmate, meditation. Okay, so let's get into the tarot here to clarify this message, seeking and finding, and going after it with a great passion and desire. Not giving up, being courageous and strong and fiery. Okay, so this is the before tarot. So for Taurus, for the general reading for March 2019, their secret message. What are they seeking and finding? What are they seeking and finding in March 2019, Spirit, please? We have some cards to clarify for Taurus for March 2019. Okay, we have three cards here. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. That's Earth energy, and that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this is seeking and finding, and this is like your energy, and you're on your horse, you're very slow moving. Maybe it's taking you a long time. It's a long process. Whatever you're seeking or finding in your life right now, whatever you're desiring or trying to accomplish here, it's here. And it's almost in reach. It's almost in your grasp, but it's not quite there yet. And the pentacles are very slow. The knight of pentacles are very, very slow moving. So I think this has been a long process for you whatever you are trying to accomplish or are seeking here yeah the eight of pentacles now your energy again and this is working hard working diligently <laughs> if i could say that word mastering your craft mastering your skill working very hard at what you're trying to accomplish here or whatever you're trying to find and we have the Four of Cups. Now this is uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And I think you're just concentrating on yourself. Because this person isn't accepting any other offers. He's just concentrated on his self. Drinking his own cup of love instead of offering it to somebody else. Not accepting anything from anybody else. Just concentrating on himself. So you're really working hard here. Concentrating on yourself. Moving forward in the direction that you're going in. It's slow, it's a slow process here, a lot of hard work. You know, just concentrating on you, your goal, your ambition, your drive, your passion. Just all about you right now. This could be work related. Maybe you're, oh, I don't know, some of you are young, could be just in school almost done school here. Maybe you're in your last year of college. Maybe you're seeking a new job. Maybe you're training in a new field. Okay, so can we have 
few more cards here for Taurus to clarify. Three more. I'll take three. King of Cups. Yeah, standing uh, in your self-worth, your self-love. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is finding your inner light, finding your inner truth, uh, your inner awareness, you know, what fulfills you, what is um, emotionally um, right for you. You want to make sure whatever you're moving forward in here is something you love, you enjoy. It's what fulfills your heart your desire, your soul. Then you have the five of pentacles here. And that's your energy again. And this can speak of worrying maybe about a little bit of monetary lack right now. So maybe for some of you, you're in the process of trying to find a job or a new job and you're worried about your funds. Um, worried about your money a little bit worried about making ends meet sometimes and then you have the world and this could be earth energy again uh, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn and this speaks of cycles coming to a close old cycles ending new cycles beginning its growth its expansion its evolution so this new cycle, because this is the before tower, this new cycle, this new start, it's here waiting for you with the world. Success here, completions. So once you complete this cycle you're going through right now, it's going to, going to be a whole new world for you. A whole new world awaits for you here. It's a good card. And that's the Sagittarius energy with fire. So could be um, could be a friend, could be a mentor, it could be a teacher, family member, could be anybody. Okay, so I can have a few more cards here. To clarify, for Taurus, for March 2019, what is this new cycle? So you have the Three of Swords, and that usually indicates, now this is the before tarot, so in the regular tarot, it shows these, these three swords in the heart, which stands for heartbreak, um, emotional hurt um, can sometimes mean like a third party involvement which causes this heartbreak and sorrow so we'll see how that fits in that's air energy with um, Gemini Libra or Aquarius so I think this is just telling you to be wary, to be watchful of person, places, and things around you, that no one deceives you, that no one um, challenges you in the wrong way, that causes you any um, distractions or deceit or heartbreak or deception in any way. Wow, the Ace of Wands. So here's your brand new beginning. This could be a creative endeavor. This could be, um, it's almost there. So whatever you're working on, your new beginning is here. You have a new beginning here and you have your new cycle starting here with the world. You know, so you just have to concentrate on yourself. Be wary of circumstances, person, places, things around you. Maybe don't get involved with the wrong people. Um, to avoid, you know, any bad situations. But, you you know, know your self-worth. Know who you are. Don't do anything that 
you wouldn't do normally. I don't know. These are just the messages I'm getting. So only you would know what that means. But I'll be wary of that in the coming month or months. Um, and then you have the Ace of Wands. And, you know, that's your passionate brand new beginning here. So whatever it, this is you're embarking on, whether it's, um, like I said, looking for a new job, training for a new job, going to school and almost finishing school, um, starting a new business, starting um, a new creative project, whatever it is for you, it's here, it's waiting for you, and it's being delivered by the hand of God when the, t God, when the time is right. It's divinely guided. So there it is for you. It's flourishing slowly here, but it's there. And then we have the High Priestess. So this is uh, Cancer or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. So I think in, this is about intuition. This is about inner knowing. This is about uh, spirituality, uh, secrets, knowing the secrets, those gut feelings listening to your intuition so maybe this is telling you if you've never really listened to your gut feelings or you never really listened to your intuition before in the coming months maybe to avoid any kind of situation like this that may happen really listen to your gut and if something is telling you something is wrong or you shouldn't do it whatever it is then don't do it that's what I'm getting with this so really pay attention to that pay attention to your intuition in your gut if you haven't really done that before there's a need here to really do that here with the high priestess and this is about secrets so be sure you know people are telling you truths that people aren't hiding things from you that may cause this heartbreak and on the bottom of the deck wow king of pentacles so <laughs> here's your energy you're almost there. You're almost ready to accept, to get that pentacle. Here it is there, almost in reach. And when it's time, the divine will hand it to you. And you will be the king of your throne, the king of your pentacles. You'll be strong, stable, abundant, prosperous, smart, um, financially set, abundant. So things look good. I think you'll be strong and stable and well-grounded. Three of Cups here, energy. So this is about reuniting, coming together with people. Maybe you're going into business with some partners. Or maybe you'll have friends or family working for you or helping you out. Or, or if it's not a job, what, whatever it is for you, whatever you are embarking on, whatever it is. And this is the Knight of Cups, and this is someone offering their cup to you. So, I mean, you could be uh, going into business or doing something with some other people. And maybe you have one person that is your backbone, your um, who's very loving and supporting, who, you know, always there to give you a helping hand. Um really helps you out a lot and maybe that one person's really going to help you in this uh, process of whatever this is you're doing here whatever creative project endeavor job career whatever it is for you but i see with the king of pentacles energy that's a very good energy with the world and your brand new beginning here in the king of cups i think you'll be Financially set, stable and strong, well-rounded, well-grounded, uh, smart, and you'll be loving. You'll be loving life. You'll be loving what you're doing. You'll feel emotionally fulfilled in every way. Maybe too with the Three of Cups energy here. Maybe whatever you're doing, you'll be helping other people. Here's like you reaching out or somebody reaching out for to you for help guidance however that resonates for you or it could be somebody just helping you through this process or helping you with your uh i 
okay, find the word I want to use with your project, your endeavor, your career, you know, whatever, whatever this is for you. So let's see the bottom of the deck. We'll get some extra guidance for you. Healthcare change. Okay. So maybe, okay, this is what I'm getting with now with this process here. You're very busy. You're working hard. You're concentrating on yourself. Maybe you're uh, not taking care of yourself properly during this time because you're working so hard. So this is telling you to really pay attention to your health. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. You're eating right. You're drinking enough water. Um, you're emotionally stable. This is really telling you here, you here to pay attention not only to your mind, but your mind, body, and soul. What you're putting into your body as well. Maybe exercise, a little bit of exercise. Dietary change as well. So pay attention to that here. Okay, Taurus, I think that's it. That's uh, the message is seeking and finding. And once whatever this is you're doing, uh, you have your new beginning. You have emotional fulfillment. You have stability here. So just listen to your intuition. Don't do anything you wouldn't do to avoid this hurt that could potentially happen through deceit or dishonesty or anything like that. Um, maybe, you know, with the five of pentacles here, you worry financially a little bit. So maybe just keep an eye on your spending habits and things like that. Make sure, you know, everything is in check, but things look good. So good luck to you. Uh, if this resonates in any way, uh, please comment. Let me know. I love to read the comments. Uh, I'm wishing you well, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.